everyone, Janet Gillen here from the Seacliff Library. I just wanted to do a quick book talk on one of my favorite series, The Lightning Thief by Rick Royden. And this is book one, and it's a wonderful, wonderful read. It is available on our Libby app, and all you have to do is download it with your library card. And it is available as an ebook and an audio book. And if you like fantasy and you like adventure and you like to learn about Greek mythology, well, all three are wrapped into this one great, great series. And it's the story of Percy who finds out that he's a demigod. His mom is human and his dad happens to be the Greek god Poseidon. And together with his friends, who he meets at this camp called Camp Half-Blood, they have to travel to the underworld in order to prevent a war from happening between the other gods. So I'm just going to read the book jacket and hopefully that'll get you interested in the story or if you've read it before you'll want to reread it. So here goes. Percy Jackson is about to be kicked out of boarding school again and that's the least of his troubles. Lately mythological monsters and the gods of Mount Olympus seem to be walking straight out of the pages of Percy's Greek mythology textbook and into his life. And worse He's angered a few of them. Zeus's master lightning bolt has been stolen and Percy is the prime suspect. Now Percy and his friends have just 10 days to find and return Zeus's stolen property and bring peace to a warring Mount Olympus. But to succeed on his quest, Percy will have to do more than catch the true thief. He must come to terms with the father who abandoned him, solve the riddle of the Oracle, which warns him of betrayal by a friend, and unravel a treachery more powerful than the gods themselves. So this is a great, great read. Um, again, if you like adventure, if you like reading about a quest, it's all in here. And it's also the story of friendship and having trust in one another and being able to find something within yourself and challenging yourself and knowing that you can do it if you put your mind to it. So I hope you have a chance to read it and I'll see everyone soon, hopefully at the Seacliff Library. We miss you and be safe, be healthy. Bye, see you soon.